everyone, welcome to Love and Lux. Today I'm going to do a Van Cleef & Arkell um, review. It's on my vintage Alhambra necklace. Before I do, I'll go over what I'm wearing. Um, I'm wearing this shirt from Old Navy. I don't think it's available anymore. I bought it last year, but if it is available, I'll link it. Um, I'm wearing these denim shorts, but you can't see it. Um, I have my headphones on. Um, you guys know sometimes I wear my headphones, so I've just got those on, so just ignore it. Other than that, um, I've just got my hair up in a clip. I've got my diamonds in my ear. Um, I talked about... Um, a few times that I have um, holes going all the way up my ear and this is probably the first video that you're actually able to see both of them um, so yeah this is what they look like um, the diamonds they are um, real diamonds and they're just set in gold the backs of them screw on and um, they graduate in size so they are larger down here and then they get smaller as you um as they go up so yeah this and then these are just Chanel um, stud earrings and then this is what it looks like on this side Okay, so that said, I'm not wearing a necklace. I'm wearing my everyday um, bracelets, which these two are from Cartier. The classic love bracelet, the classic Justin Clue in yellow gold, and then this is the classic Rolo Link bracelet from Tiffany's in yellow gold with the medium heart tag hanging at the bottom. Um, Cartier, I mean Hermes and Bucci. Um, this one's rose gold and then this one's yellow gold. Both of them are 18 karat gold. Um, and then this is my wedding ring that I wear all the time. This is the Chanel cup. I've shown this before. I don't know what video I showed this in, but I, I think I showed this in a video and I think I've I don't know if I've worn this in a video before, but I definitely showed this in my, um, I think I did a Chanel jewelry collection video, a costume jewelry collection video from Chanel, I want to say. Anyways, that's what it is. It's just the Chanel cup. Okay. And then I'll go over what I'm wearing on my lips. Um, these two, which I don't even know if, I, I know this one's definitely not available because this is the, um, older Gucci. Like I said, I don't care if it's expired. I'm gonna keep using it until it's gone. Um, this is called Dark Romance. Um, let me see. Okay. So this is the um, Dark Romance fingernail polish. This is more of a fall winter type of shade. This is what it looks like on the top. That's probably got fingerprints all over it, but basically this is what it looks like. The packaging for Gucci doesn't look like this anymore because they changed it. And um, the only reason why I'm showing this is because this is the lip gloss that goes with it. This is Dark Romance also. This lip gloss that I'm wearing from Gucci is called Dark, Dark Romance. Like I said, the package doesn't look like this anymore, but um, I'm also wearing this, which is YSL. This is a lip gloss. This one is number 49 and it's called Gloss Volupt. I think that's how you say it. This one is a purpley shade with um, sparkles in it. And so I put this on first, but then I was like, uh, I can see the sparkles and a little bit of the color, but I wanted something a little darker. So I decided to mix these two together. And we're in Rose Valdia. I think that's how you say it from Bulgari. I unboxed this one on my channel, I don't know, like last month or so. And yeah, that's it. That's what I'm wearing. Um, so we'll go over the Van Cleef & Arpel Vintage Johanbert Necklace. This necklace, um, I bought it four years ago. I bought it um, a few weeks after I bought my Rolex. And I'll see if I can get up close, but basically it's the Vintage Alhambra with the black onyx and the yellow gold. And I didn't get mine um, an extra, what is it called? Like extended or anything? This is just b the basic way that it comes from the store and I'll show it up close. Um, before I show it up close, I'll go over what I got with it. I bought it from the Van Cleef & Arpel store in San Francisco inside of Neiman Marcus. Um, like I said, I bought this four years ago, so the, um, I think I heard from another YouTuber that that store is closed because they have an actual, um, a store on their own now in San Francisco instead of being in the Neiman Marcus, which is awesome because the store inside of Neiman Marcus, the Van Cleef & Arpel was so small. It was a very, very, very small store. So I'm kind of excited to go to um, the Van Cleef & Arpel now, the new one in, in Neiman Marcus. I mean, the new one in San Francisco and see um, what it looks like, what it's like. Um, yeah. So hopefully I'll be able to go there soon because I do want more Van Cleef & Arpel, but as of right now, I just have this one piece and that's it. This is what the packaging looks like. Even though I bought this four years ago, I'm pretty sure the packaging still looks the same. It says VCA on the front. This symbol right here is also on the on the jewelry, on the um, clasp in the back. And if I can get close enough, I'll show you. And then on this side, it just says Van Cleef and Arpel. And it's like a sage green color and white. So I mentioned I got it from Neiman Marcus in San Francisco. And so they gave me this cleaner, which I never use, but it's just um, jewelry cleaner inside. And it says Neiman Marcus. Now inside... I'm pretty sure this is probably my receipt. 
and then it says VCA in the back. Um, let me see if this is the receipt. I, I usually keep all my receipts together. No, it's not. If the receipt was in here, I'd take it out. It's just this little... I'm talking about regulations and stuff, and it's in different languages. I don't know if the receipt came in here or not. If it did, then I took it out. I usually keep my receipts um, in one container. Um, that way it's easy for me to find them. But it's empty now, so I'm going to put this back in here. This is a pouch that they give you if you want to travel with it. It just says VCA there. And it's like a microfiber type of feel. It's like, um, has cushion in it. And this is like silver foiling. Okay, so this is what this looks like. Truth be told, when I bought my stuff, I never really opened this stuff and looked at it. I just started wearing my necklace and that's it. But it has, um, I don't know, some picture there of a Van Cleef and Arpel store. Maybe it's in France. I'm not sure. I've never even been to France before, so I have no idea. And then that's what it looks like on the inside. So this is going over the care services. And this one says authenticity certificate. And then the care booklet just says VCO on the back right there. I don't know how I'm going to do this forward facing on the camera. That's no good. But anyways, it just has stuff in there. Basically how to care for it. For it I'm pretty sure is all it says in there. I don't think anybody ever really, the majority of the people who buy stuff, we don't read all this stuff. Just like the stuff that you get with your Chanel bags, I don't read that stuff. I don't read any of that stuff really. Maybe I should, but I don't. Okay. So this was purchased. Let me see if it has any information. No. This is what it looks like on the back. So yeah, that's it. It just says um, authentic authenticity certificate. And um, so it has your individual serial number. Then there's another number on there called the reference number. And then it says the date of purchase. So I'm going to block out the serial number and the reference number. And I'm going to just show the date of purchase, which it shows I bought it April 14th, 2018. So the other numbers are behind my fingers. But then it has like this hologram type of sticker. Kind of like the stickers that you have down inside the Chanel bags. Um, no, they don't do that anymore because um, I think there's some type of, um, what is it called? Like a, like a little RFID chip inside the bags. I haven't bought any bags from Chanel. I haven't bought anything from Chanel since 2019. And I believe it's only the bags that have that RFID chips. All the other stuff that you get, like the SLGs, they'll, they'll still come with the authenticity card. But this reminds me of the um, sticker that's down inside the Chanel um, bags and SLGs that have the authenticity number on it. Or serial number or whatever it's called. So it's like a hologram looking type of sticker. I'm not really sure what it's called. And then at the bottom, it just has a little stamp there. And like I said, my receipt is probably um, with my other like jewelry and stuff that I've purchased over the years. Okay. And then I'll open this up to show y'all what this looks like on the inside. So it just says Van Cleef and Arpel right here. Yeah, there's nothing else in there. So this is... I'm not really sure how this goes. I guess it would be on the front like this. This is what it looks like in the back. And it's just like a velvety type of microfiber, cushiony little flat thing. Oh, my necklace is right here. So I don't remember what it looked like. This is four years ago. I don't remember what this looked like. Um, maybe something like this. I don't know. I don't remember how it came. It's got two slits right here. So I'm assuming. Yeah, I don't know. But if I can get close up, I'll show you what it looks like. It's probably got fingerprints all over it. And it's the very same on the other side. So let me flip it over. So there's no scratches or anything on it. Um, it's perfectly smooth. It's jet black. It's black onyx. 18 karat yellow gold. That's industry standard for luxury. So when I talk about this, for example, or my rings from luxury brands that are in gold or rose gold, for example, um, or even in white gold, it's all 18 karat because that's industry standard for that's what the luxury brands use. Um, I'll show the clasp. I'll try to get close up on that. So let me stand up because I'll do a, I'll do a better job if I stand up. Okay. So you can see there it's this, um, clover. It's a four leaf clover. They say it's supposed to represent our mean good luck. And I think every single different color or every different gemstone has a different meaning behind it. 
So this is the black four leaf clover. And like I said, it's the same. It looks the same. So I don't know if there's, I don't think there's a front or a back. I don't think there's a right or a wrong way to wear it. The chain is really sparkly. And what I was getting ready to say is that it's stationary. So this one doesn't move. It doesn't slide back and forth. And you can see the two loops there on each side of the clover at the top where it's connected. And then it has like these little beads of gold around it. You try to get a side profile. And it looks like that all the way around. Um, I didn't measure it, but I'll try to put the information on the screen because I don't know how long this is. Usually when you guys see me wear it, this is the, it, with the clasp on the longest setting, but usually when you guys see me wear it, I have it on this setting. So let me see, I don't know how close up I'll be able to zoom in. And yeah, I, pr I probably should have cleaned it first, but that's okay. Let me see. A few moments later. Like lint on it. But anyways, that's what it looks like. I'm gonna try to get close up. And show the clasp. I'm gonna flip it around because I have some type of number on there and I don't know if that's specific to my, my necklace, so I'm gonna flip it around. And I don't know how close up I'm able to get, how clear it's going to show. And it is dirty, so sorry about that. Yeah, I don't, I'm not really sure if you're going to be able to see all the details on that. Um, it says something else like right here like right there there's writing on it right there not on this part right here where the diamond is I'm talking about next to it but it's so small that I can't see it and I don't think I can get close up on that either Yeah, I can only get in so close with this, but it says something else. I just noticed, I never noticed that. It says something next to, um, it has a little diamond at the bottom of the clasp that says VCA. It looks just like this. This little diamond here. But it says something next to it, and I don't know what it says. You'd have to get be able to get pretty close up, because I never noticed that that was there. Anyways, on the other side of this little plaque here, um, it has a code on it. First of all, one side says VCA, then it says AU750. I'm assuming that's for 18 karat gold, um, as far as the AU750 goes. Um, and then I think it's a serial number on the other side. It might be something specific to my piece, so I don't want to show that or say it out loud. Let me look at my um, my thing in here, because it, it should match up, I'm, I'm thinking. Yeah, it does. Okay, so there's, on the other side of this bar, on one side of this bar right here, yeah, so on one side of this bar, on the other side of this bar right here, there's a serial number that matches your piece that matches up with what's on here. So if anybody, if anybody wants to buy um, a vintage Alhambra necklace from VCA, um, just know that on this bar here, one side says VCA, and then it says AU750. But on the other side, if you flip it over, there's a serial number that should match the authenticity card. Uh, the serial number on the authenticity card, they should match. And um, there should be some type of holographic sticker that looks like this on the um, authenticity card. Just in case, because I know some people buy stuff pre-loved. And um, I know if I was going to buy something like this pre-loved, I would want to have as much information on it as I could. 
Um, um, honestly, I'm too lazy. I'm not even going to go digging through my receipts to find it. Um, I don't remember what the price tag was uh, when I bought this because, like I said, it was four years ago. Um, but before tax, I don't remember how much it was. I want to say it was um, it was definitely over two thousand, but I can't before tax. But I don't remember what it was. I don't know if it was twenty eight hundred or twenty three hundred or twenty five hundred, something like that. I, I can't. Oh, why am I trying to put this in here? It was something like that. And I will list it um, on the screen. Um, I'll list it on the screen. I'll go to the VCA website and list um, what they cost now, like the prices of them now, or at least um, if I could find the Black Onyx one, I'll list it now. Now, I do um, I do plan on buying more VCA? Um, there's a few VCA items that I still want to get. Um, probably about four. Let me see. Yeah, there's about four or five more VCA pieces that I want to get. And I honestly started to get the five motif bracelet from VCA instead of getting this. Um, the Rolo Link bracelet in gold from Tiffany's. I'm kind of glad I did get this though because um, I had never seen anybody with this one. And um, you get way more gold in this around the same price than what you get for this. Now this was more expensive than the, the Rolo Link bracelet from Tiffany's. I've had this for several years. I bought this before the VCA um, necklace. But I did want the, um, Rolo, the um, matching five motif bracelet from VCA as well. And I started to get that before the necklace, but I decided to go with Tiffany's instead. And I'm glad I did because you get more weight. There's more gold on the Rolo Link bracelet from Tiffany's. It's way more gold, way more heavier, weighty than the VCA bracelet. And at the time, this one was more expensive. They've had price increases on this bracelet and on the VCA, but I feel like the price of the VCA um, has gone up more. I want to say at that time years ago I only paid 3800 for this one and now I think it's 4000 or over 4000 for this one the Tiffany & Co one and this one I mean the VCA bracelet the five motif bracelet so it was going to be yellow gold with black onyx motifs on it um that one at the time was cheaper than this one but I understood because I was like okay well the Tiffany's one there's more weight to it as you get a lot more gold both of them are 18 karat gold but I like this one better so I'll get this this one and I'm glad that I did but I'm not going to say that I still don't. I still do want the five motif bracelet from VCA. And even though the price is, um, how much is the price of that bracelet now? Is it 4000 now or something like that for the five motif bracelet from VCA? I, I don't know, but I'll put it on the screen too. Um, in the world of luxury bracelets, and when we're talking about 18 karat gold jewelry, I feel like that's still a decent price. It's more than what it would have been if I would have bought it back in the day. But it's, to me, it's still in a decent price range compared to the love bracelet and the juice and glue. We don't even want to get started on these. I will do an individual review on both of these. Um, the love bracelet is just in the classic size, no diamonds or anything. And then the classic um, juice and glue is just in the classic size as well, no diamonds or anything. I'll do a, a separate review on both of these. And yeah, I feel like I lost, forgot about what I was going to say. I feel like I was talking about BCA and that bracelet and I lost track. Anyways, I do still want to get the bracelet. This shirt makes me look like I'm heck of big. <laughs> I bought this one and I bought the one in denim, like a chambray one, um, and they're two different sizes. So this one I've worn once before. I bought it, I think I bought it last year. Um, this one is a, I think it's a medium and the other one is a small, but the other one is a chambray. I wanted both of them in a medium, but, um, the chambray was only available in small. So I was like, okay, I'll buy the small one. But when I look at how big this thing is on me, I'm like, I should have got it in a medium. I mean, in a small, but that's okay. I think it's supposed to be like a baby doll fitting type of, um, top anyways. I want to say the color is ecru and it feels like, um. It's probably like a linen. I don't think it's 100% linen. It's probably a linen cotton blend, but whatever. It's just a cute little top that I bought to wear in the, uh, in the warmer months. So anyways, yeah, I do still want the five, five motif bracelet from VCA. Um, and even at the price that it is today, I, I, I feel like it's worth it. I know for a fact that when I buy the five motif bracelet from VCA, I'm not, it's not going to be an everyday bracelet, or at least I don't anticipate it to be an everyday bracelet. I bought this to be an everyday necklace and it is an everyday necklace for me, but I don't wear it every single day. I probably wear it 80%, 80% of the year, maybe even 90, I would say 90% of the year on average, if you look at a year, 90% of the time I will wear this. Like right now, obviously I'm not wearing it. I'm not wearing it today. I didn't wear it yesterday, but I bought this to be an everyday necklace and it is, it is an everyday necklace, but I don't wear it each and every single day. Sometimes I do take it off. So I know when I buy the bracelet, the bracelet is not going to be, I'm not going to buy the bracelet with the thought of it being an everyday bracelet for me. If it does turn into be, to be an everyday bracelet, then great, but I'm not I'm not gonna buy it to be an everyday bracelet. I'm gonna buy it to be a bracelet that I can wear, <coughs> that I, I'm buying it to be a bracelet that I can wear on and off. Just like the Rolo Link bracelet from Tiffany's. Sometimes I wear it, sometimes I don't. 
So the BCA bracelet is going to be no no um, different. Sometimes I'm going to wear it and sometimes I'm not. But as far as this one, I wear this one the majority time of the year. And um, the only reason why it's not on is because yesterday I, I didn't have it on. I didn't, I didn't wear it yesterday, so why would I put it on today if I'm, I'm not going to wear it today either, right? Um, I'm not going to show what it looks like on because I always wear it. Like I said, normally I wear it on the shortest setting. Um, and that's because I wear my um, figure roll link bracelet, um, necklace with it. That one is just a 14 karat gold um, figure roll link necklace. I wear it. That's definitely every day. I wear that one more than I wear this one. So when I wear it, I'm trying to make sure that um, number ain't showing. But when I wear it, this part usually dangles in the back. Because like I said, I wear it on the shortest setting. So let me, let me see if I can get close up and show y'all what that looks like. So when you when I wear it, <clears throat> because I wear it on the shortest setting and I layer it with other necklaces, this is usually what it looks like in the back. You have the little part dangling in the back. And with VCA, when you first buy your stuff, they'll extend it or even take some gold out for you. Um, I heard it was during the first month that you have it, and they'll do it for free. Um, so they'll add an extension onto here so you can wear the necklace longer. Or maybe even make it shorter if you want. Um, and recently, I was watching somebody's video, and they said now they, they do it, um, you can have it for a year, up to a year, and they'll still make those changes, make it longer or shorter. And I believe they do that with the bracelets also. Um, yeah. And this is fine jewelry because it's 18 karat gold, but it's not their high jewelry. So they have things that are way more expensive than this, obviously. Stuff that I'm pretty sure they take you into a back room to show you. They wouldn't pull that stuff out in front of all the regular shoppers that are shopping. But um, I like stuff like this because... Yeah, it's, it's from Van Cleef & Arpel, which is a luxury store. I think they're related, the businesses, in some type of way to Cartier. Or is that another brand? Never mind. I think that might be another brand I was looking at. But anyways, um, at the end of the day, I um, do like the fine jewelry because um, the craftsmanship and quality is good. It's 18 karat gold. For the most part, they all just go up in value anyways. Um, so it's just going to wind up wor being worth more later down the line, right? You imagine how much this little thing would cost in 10 years from now. I'm pretty sure it'll be a lot more than what I paid for it. Because everything I have so far in the world of high-end luxury jewelry, um, even my Rolex watch, they've all increased in value. Um, and I don't buy stuff for investment. I buy it because I like it and I want to wear it and I want to use it. And I know, thinking about my kids and my grandchild, my little granddaughter, later down the line, I can give them this stuff if they want it. <laughs> my grandbaby already asked for my Rolex as soon as she saw it on my wrist. She was like, can I have that? I was like, yeah, you can when you get older. So, um... <clears throat> When you think about how much this stuff will cost, for example, my little grandbaby, when she gets older, how much this stuff will cost versus what I paid for it, um, it, it I'm pretty sure it's going to be worth a lot more later down the line. So my purchase wasn't in vain because I get to use it and enjoy it for my life, right? And then in the future, whether I'm dead or alive, they can have it. So when I say they, I mean my kids and my grandbaby. So that's it. That's all. I hope y'all liked the video. Um, I just wanted to go, come on here and review my Van Cleef & Arpel necklace. Um, yeah, and show y'all what it comes with. All the little stuff that it I don't use none of this stuff, I'm going to be honest. Um, but this is the type of stuff that it comes with. And I hope y'all like the video. Bye.